Because it's so important, especially because it's uh, the return of Peace Corps volunteers to Armenia. I think we all saw on this video, which I must say made me a little teary, um, about how much the Peace Corps volunteers are, um, are beloved in their communities, in their schools, in the youth organizations and families uh, that they're living with. So just in my first three months here in Armenia, in the travels that I've done around the country, I've heard nothing but amazing stories of the uh, really positive, um, positive benefits of having Peace Corps volunteers in a community. And we very deeply believe that it's not just the education and youth development sectors that benefit from having Peace Corps volunteers, but really it's the amazing people-to-people -people connections and friendships that the volunteers make when they're in a community. And I think we saw a lot of that just in the video uh, when both the host families and the volunteers were talking about their experience. And although I did not, uh, sadly, I did not participate in Peace Corps, uh, a lot of my colleagues in the State Department did do Peace Corps volunteerism when they were, uh, before they came into the State Department. Uh, and I know that even decades later, they are still in touch with their uh, Peace Corps families and the communities in which they served. <laughs> And uh, I think we even have a few return Peace Corps volunteers in the audience today. Maybe they can raise their hands. Uh, so the Peace Corps uh, came to Armenia in 1992, and since then there have been uh, over 1,100 volunteers here. And I can say with absolute certainty in just a short time I've been here that this program has made our relations, U.S.-Armenia relations, closer. So just a huge thank you to our host families, our schools, the youth organizations in the room, and thank you for opening your hearts and your homes to hosting Peace Corps volunteers. and also a special thanks to the Armenian government, especially the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture, and Sports, 
for your invaluable support of the program. So, uh, to our volunteers, I look forward to hearing about your journeys, and I know that your service will make us proud. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for, trainees, will you please stand? Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will will and faithfully discharge the duties of the office in which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.